What's up, Bad to Bay? It's the C Girl Joy back with another banger. You know, that smile went away real quick, sis. You know it did. Cause you know I'm in my feelings right now. Two things I'm in my feelings, boo. So before I get into this video, make sure you give this video a thumbs up, like, comment, share, hit your post notifications, because obviously people are not knowing when I upload a video. Whatever. It is what it is. But seriously, how y'all doing before I get into you know I always keep Look, I got my uh, um, cozy sweater on. I was laying, I had to lay down, my nerves were bad. So, I'm probably a little puffy. I didn't sleep, I didn't sleep well last night. So, hearty, before I get to the thing that <laughs> had, my, had my nerves bad, I'm still in my feelings though. I come home from work and look at this lovely mess. Look at this. Mess, mess, just mess. So, I haven't seen Clint, and like I said, I wasn't talking about it. I'm not, okay? I'm just saying that there's a mess. The girls didn't do it. I didn't do it. So, we came home to this lovely, I guess, baking experiment. So, I, I don't know, I guess he decided to use the rest of the butter that we had in the house because they eat butter like crazy up in my house. Do you have that problem in your house? They eat butter like it's potato chips. So, we don't have extra butter just laying around for you to be experimenting making cookies while we at work and while we're going to school doing something with our lives. I guess he made some type of some type of sugar cookie or something. I guess that's a cream cream cheese frosting. Hold on, hold on a second. cream cheese left in there because the girls eat that stuff for um school so anyway nice little mess whatever haven't seen them i sent the text but oh wait he said what mess this wasn't there when we left this morning let me take a picture you know they last a little longer Wouldn't it be, wouldn't it be funny if he was like, that wasn't me. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, I'm not going to dwell on that. It's a little late. It's almost nine o'clock. But the only reason I ventured downstairs is because I'm a little hungry and it's a little late. It is past my witching hour. So I'm going to make me <clears throat> just a little snack, um, some sauteed vegetables that I made the other day, and um, some quinoa. We keep the quinoa. So, hunty, <clears throat> let me tell you, I have not been, I'm not easy to embarrass, bro. <laughs> I'm still wearing my little necklace. Don't worry about my little ripped sweater. I like it, okay? I like the sweater. It's my cozy sweater. Um... I've never been this embarrassed in a long time. And it is very, 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 very hard to embarrass me. I went to school today and I was like this. I was so embarrassed because some bright person asked me, they thought it was a good idea, asked me to man the clock at the basketball game. I've never manned the clock. I had no idea what I was in store for. And I think you get $20. I was like, all right, you know, a little $20, whatever. Yeah, you know, okay. Hunty, Hunty, 
Let me tell you something. That's not for inexperienced people. They need to start you out playing like Little League. They need you with the Pee Wee team so you can get used to the clock. I don't care what anyone says. It's more than pressing one button, start the clock, stop the clock. Honey, hunty, I got in, I didn't know. You kind of have to sort of disconnect or disengage from the game. You cannot be into the game and man the clock. So I got into the game. Run the clock, push the button, stop the button. People in the stands yelling at me, the clock, the clock. Oh my gosh. It was like a nightmare. Yo, oh, you need to add four minutes. You need to add 30 seconds for a timeout. You need to do the bonus. You need to do this. You need to reset this. You need to give it up uh, uh, the bonus. Ciao. I said, Nep, the coach is yelling at me, the refs yelling at me, never again, never. <laughs> and I don't like to say never, but this is a hard never. <laughs> so I was just so embarrassed. I could not be happier when the game was over. I just went back to my classroom and it's probably 8.30, 9 o'clock at night. So, of course, I had to do some stuff when I finally got home, taking that hour drive. Well, there was no traffic, so I probably made it home in about 50 minutes. I had to sit in my car and get my attitude together before I came up in this house. <laughs> oh, my gosh. So, I'm here to warn you. If someone asks you to run the clock at a game and, and, if they were down to the last minute, I was so into the game. I'm so into the game, I didn't start the clock. And you know, they really trying to, you know, make those last points. The ref had to stop the game. Blew the whistle, looked at me. Can you add 57 seconds to the clock, please? <laughs> Lord, 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 never again. And I told Bobby, Bobby was like, I knew you were gonna be terrible at it, mom. You know, they want me to be bad at stuff, cause you know, whatever. So she said, I knew you were gonna be terrible at it, mom. She says, sometimes they ask us to do the clocks at the games and stuff. She says, I won't even do the clocks. So you thought you were gonna be able to do the clock? She said, it is so stressful to do the clocks. I would have never done the clock. And if, you, if I knew you were gonna do the clock, I would have told you not to do the clock because the clock, you gotta be on time. Y'all know I'm a little late on stuff. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? So anyway, shall So it gets it gets better. It gets better. I knew I I knew I wasn't good at the clock. I, I know I know that. You don't have to point out my faults. I know that. So I'm walking to the school today, and here comes one of the gym teachers in my classroom. While I have class, while I'm trying to teach a little something about semicolons, okay? <laughs> she stands there. Look, I'm in my I'm in my house clothes, so don't worry about it. Y'all know a sister could clean up what she wants to, okay? <laughs> she comes in, she's like, so Basil, I heard you were running that clock. <laughs> I'm dropping the mic, y'all. I'm dropping the mic. Now, all the teachers are talking about me at school. How terrible I was at the clock. <laughs> Let them ask me for a favor again. You know what the answer's gonna be, right? Hell to the naw. <laughs> terrible. Just terrible. I knew I was terrible. Now they know I'm terrible. So you know when you do something and you don't want them to ask you to do it again, you do a terrible job. <laughs> <laughs> you can take that any way you want to take it. But when you don't want to do something, just make sure you don't do a good job. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Terrible, guys. 
I have never been that embarrassed in years. And a sister doesn't get embarrassed at all. When was the last time I was embarrassed? Cause y'all know I'm straight silly. Look, probably at birth. I don't know. Now, one time I fell, I was pregnant with Clinton. I was pregnant with Clinton. If you don't know Clinton, he's my firstborn. And I fell because I guess my, I was trying to get adjusted to all the weight on my belly. Child, nobody helped me up. I was, I was a little embarrassed and I was hurt. That I was like, you see somebody pregnant fall, nobody tries to help you up. This is New York. New Yorkers can be some rude people. Look, I'm a New Yorker, so I can talk about y'all if you want to. Yes. Rude. See somebody, and to go along with that, um, I was on the train. I don't know if it was the train or the bus. I think it was, I was pregnant with Clinton. I think I could have been about seven, eight months at that time. Standing, it, it was the train. It was a train. Standing, holding on the little hand thing, going back and forth train. Two men sitting right in front of me, trying to avoid the belly, trying to avoid the big elephant in the room like you don't see it. Belly hitting you in your face. Soon as the train, the train moves forward, it's all in your face. So you can't miss it because it rubbed against your face a couple of times. Didn't offer me a seat. And when, no, I take that back. There were several train stops later now you want to offer me a seat? What did I say before? Oh, hell to the no. I don't want your seat now. I don't went past Flatbush Avenue, Newkirk Avenue, Church Avenue. I don't know Street Avenue. I don't want your seat because I don't went past too many avenues. And now you want to offer me a seat now that we getting close to your stop? Boy, bye. I stand. <laughs> Next. Ooh, I don't like men who are not, what do you call it, chivalrous? Ooh, I hope I just spit came up with that. I haven't experienced that in the several years. <laughs> How about 20? <laughs> yeah. I mean, come on. Where, where, where's the gentleman-like thing for a man to do? Is chivalry really, really dead? Do we have any more gentlemen left? Anyway, I went way back as I look at this mess. Let's see what his reply was because I sent him a picture. No reply. We had no butter for you to be experimenting like that, bro. Anyway, let me get something to eat so I can have get my attitude in check. Ooh, mm, what y'all eat tonight? So y'all make any good, I'm not gonna say low fat, but healthier food options. What have you been eating lately? Let me know. Leave in the description box below, sis. Oh shoot, there's um asparagus in there. Do you ever have something you don't feel like cooking it? So my kitchen is a mess. I'm not cleaning anything. And, um, yeah, wouldn't he just come home and, and cook stuff? Yeah, he had a good old time. <sighs> because he wasn't here when we left this morning. I don't know, he said to his friends, so I was like, your friends got a room for you? How about that? I did say I wasn't talking about that. Okay, I'm just venting, y'all. Just Don't pay me no mind. Don't pay me no mind. I'm just a little in my feelings. Okay. Seriously, let me give me something, just a little bit to eat. Just a little bit, y'all. I just need something to take the, I just need something to take the edge off. Kitchen mess. Yep, somebody got my snow peas. Oh, it looks like a whole bunch of snow peas. So I make a, big thing of um quinoa and we put it in our eggs we put it in we put a little bit of quinoa on just about everything hey asparagus sound good right now 
So I just um, put a little bit in the bowl and then I'll fill it with vegetables. And it's it's really, it's late, but I can, my stomach is growling right now. And some sauteed veggies. in the microwave so I got me like a a veggie bowl oh there was some chicken now nah, I just do some veggies veggies and my tiger sauce boo some tiger sauce that stuff is good you better go out and get you some tiger sauce yeah I got this one from HEB but they also have it at Walmart this is my new love right here. If you have never experienced love, you eat this and you be like, ooh, this is what love tastes like. The tiger sauce. <laughs> Go out and get you some today. <laughs> Go out and get you some love today. Love me long time. Love me like fine wine. Love me like you love me. <laughs> Get your tiger sauce because you want to be me. <laughs> Y'all know I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm tired, sis. Okay, is that hot enough? Probably not. I mean, just made all kind. Look, I ain't talk about it no more because you know my nerves get bad. This is still cold. Mmm. Good, good. Mmm. So, how y'all been doing? I haven't done too much vlogging lately. Honestly, I've been tired. And I will tell you, I will admit this. <clears throat> I was tired. I've been tired. And then uh, sometimes I just come home and I just crash. And then I did the game. I came home late. So if I got to run the kids around a lot, I get late. And then I, sometimes the views are low. And then I was like, well, maybe I just need to get, maybe people telling me you tired. <laughs> now I was like, oh, nobody watching anyway. But I will, I will say this right here. Um, be love put it um, in a different perspective. Other people probably have put it in a different perspective, but I caught her talking about it. And she was like, even if you have 300, 400 views on a video, think of, she said, she said, think of it this way. Think of it as you are in an auditorium or of some type of facility and 300 people are coming to hear and listen to you speak. If I get a video that only gets 800 views, 800 people came to hear you talk about whatever or do whatever you're going to do. She said, that's pretty impressive. You know, now you can fill up a, a stadium. <laughs> you know, I know, I know my riders. I know my riders. Okay. But she said, think of it that way. And so sometimes you got to, you know, look at things from a different perspective or whatever. Ooh, look at that. So this is a cute little veggie bowl, guys. Nothing, nothing too much. And so let me see. It's nine o'clock. What up, bitch? You should have a little chicken. I thought about the chicken. Oh, look, see. I thought about the chicken. But I didn't feel like making it. It's in the fridge. You said to put it in the microwave. I'm saying hi, Bobby. Look, I'm tall as you, be. It's just a bite. It's a bite. Y'all see that, right? You can't have nothing. So, Bobby, when are you going to give us the tour of your room. We're waiting. 
your aunties and the uncles and your cousins, your niece. Right oh, really? No. My room's not in tip top shape right now. Like, it's clean, but it's not, you know, clean. Well, they want to see your, um, your Christmas stuff. That's on one side of the room, Bobby. But I still, like, I thought about a new way to organize my desk drawers, so then I'm, I'm going to rearrange everything and redo it. Guys, you know she got the OCD, so she may be rearranging for weeks. Because you know how I have those long ones that you put, like, pens in, like, the little sections? I'm going to put those all on the left side of my drawers, and then I'm going to organize them by color. So I'll put all my red pens in that one, all my pink pens in this one, all my blue pens in this one. You know what I'm saying? It's hot. So, I asked Clinton about the mess. He was like, what mess? I sent him a picture. No reply. I got, this what I got. Mm -hmm. You like all the sounds of those crickets? That's what I got. I mean, last the stuff is right there. It's what? already out, boo. Let's play. Let's play. Mm. <laughs> mm. I need tiger sauce. I need the tiger gum. I need my love. It needs a tiger. Oh, it needs my love. I know you want to love me. It's the tiger. This is love right here, Bobby. Okay. <laughs> what are you looking for? Why are you have this all open? I don't know. Oh, that was a lot. That was that was too much. Good, so you shouldn't eat this because it's just way too much, Bobby. Mm-hmm. Make you a bowl, Bobby. Mm. Bobby just got into what? An honor society? Which one? History Honor Society. History Honor Society? So what does that mean? Bobby yeah. wants, on graduation, she wants all the chords and this and that. Yeah. But I'm, um, I gotta get an English Honor Society next year. Then I'll be in all four Honor Societies. Cause I'm not in any languages, so I can't. You can't be in what? <laughs> Cause like, I wanna be in all the Honor Societies, but they have the core subject honor societies and then the foreign um, language honor societies, but I'm not in any foreign languages anymore. So that's mm -hmm. out of the picture. But I'm in history, math, and science, so now I just have to get into English next year. Why do you get in English this year? Because I wasn't thinking about it. What are you thinking about? Mm -hmm. And then I have to get into the big one, the National Honor Society. But I need a teacher recommendation for that, and no one's recommended me. You better ask somebody. Ask and you shall. What? How does this saying go, guys? If you don't ask, you will not receive. Mm. But I don't know. I don't know 100% how, how it works, but fingers crossed. Because, you know, I'm a junior. Second so one more year left. And I'm going to be grown nine days. <laughs> yeah, her birthday is February. <laughs> Look, first. You still didn't say what you wanted to do. I don't really want to do anything, and I'm supposed to be like, I think I'm. I may be doing something that day for that school. They can hear you. That was really important. Mm -hmm. So you don't want it you didn't want to have a few friends over for like hamburgers and stuff? 
sleepover. Girls party. We gonna get turned up, turned up. We gonna play games. I really like doing sleepovers. Be like, cause I have so many different groups of like friends that they all don't know each other, so it just be like weird. Like I can have like two of my friend, close friends over, but like they don't really like. They so, like some is not your basketball friends. Yeah, like, right I have your basketball friends. I have my school friends, and I have like, see like, and they just all don't, you know, go together. It's like a ham and cheese sandwich, but then you you think about some peanut butter and jelly. You just don't put them together. You keep them in their categories. Yeah, gotta keep them separate. I have one of my friends in New York. She she never mixed her friends, but this was just us go out to party, and I just never understood it. So I might be sitting home. She's like, "Yeah, we went here." I'm like, "Bro, you couldn't ask me to go." Yeah, I get along with everybody. Right, so I, I never understand it. She was like, I just don't mix my friends. Okay. You know I ain't telling you a secret. <laughs> yeah. It's just like, it's just weird. Well, not weird, but it's just hard. Mm hmm Because it's like, my basketball friends are so different than like my other friends. Yeah, I know. <laughs> what she saying <laughs> outside of basketball her friends are like Sydney's friends that is not true oh really that's outside of basketball bro that's not true <laughs> <laughs> exactly <laughs> which is not wrong with that they just just different I, I mean I mean not all of them but it's just like <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna go back because we get long. So, what'd you say about me and the clock, Bobby? The clock at the game. Lord, you still embarrassed? You said, because you had to see all those people today. That was like, that's the lady who messed up the clock right there. That's, that's the lady. A teacher. Mm, sorry. One of the coaches came to my class. So, I heard you ran the clock in front of my class. You're like, no, nah, that wasn't me. Must have been another lady. Embarrassed. And for all my education people, I was like, yeah, I need an IEP on a clock. How to man a clock. I need an IEP clock. I don't even know what that means. Teacher inside joke. Mm, you have to know what IEP is. Most kids with an IEP have some type of need. I think it's like um, intervention, educational plan, or something like that. <laughs> All right, guys. Ah, we are gonna get out of here. There's my little late night snack. Well, it prevented me from eating a whole bowl, but I guess I'll just drink this water and it'll fill me up the rest of the way. Ooh, until I get to the ISIS. Or should I add my coolest water? That's in my gym bag. All right, guys. Give this video a thumbs up. I'm gonna take this one for the team. I'm gonna take this one for the team. My embarrassment, honey. They will not ask me to do a clock again, okay, sis? And that is fine with me. At least now I'm like, nah, I'm not good at that job. I, right, I, right. you know, maybe I can do concession or something. All right, dap you up. All right. <laughs> Lord, let me take tickets. Let me count the money. But I will not be doing a clock. <laughs> the running room party is so fun. What was that? Oh, not for you. <laughs> you said you wouldn't do the clock. Because I play. 
So I couldn't do the clock, but I can see how that could get. Yeah. Right. All right, guys. Thank you for hanging out with me tonight. I guess I'm gonna try to shower and curl into my bed. It's so good. Oh, I just love my bed. That has really become my happy place. It is amazing. <laughs> All right, guys. I love you. Give this video a thumbs up, like, comment, share, and subscribe. Until next time.